Good morning, good brothers and good sisters. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A very good morning yes. to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Yes. The sun is shining outside here. Yes. You seem to be still in bed. Please rise and shine. shine. Yes. Yeah. Before you have your coffee, the first joke. Yes. Now a Franciscan. Yes. Went to a barber for haircut. He oh. had the nice haircut, and he asked how much. And the barber said, "Sorry, I don't charge the clergy." Wow. And the Franciscan was very happy. He went home. Okay. But he was kind enough. The next morning, uh, the barber found a basket full of bread from the kitchen of the Franciscan monastery. So nice. He said, "Yeah." Okay. Uh, after a few days, a Augustinian monk went for the haircut okay. to the same barber. Right. And after the haircut, as usually asked how much, and the barber said, "Sorry, I do not charge for the clergy. It is free of cost." Correct. The Augustinian was very happy. He went home. And the next morning, the barber found a bottle of wine which was produced in the monastery. Wow! The so nice. So nice. So the yeah. barber was very happy. Of course. Because his work was rewarded. Yes. And after a few days, a Jesuit went for the haircut right. with the same barber. Okay. And the same story. How much? And the barber said, "I don't charge the clergy. It is free of cost." And the next morning, when the barber woke up and opened the shop. There were twelve Jesuits lining up for their cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! This is too much. Yeah. Huh? Speaks yeah. very highly of the reputation. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I hope you got up out of your beds now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There is a famous line, famous line in the Bible. Yeah. It says, "Seek ye first the kingdom, kingdom of, of God, God and His righteousness." Jesus. And yeah, everything everything else will be added unto you. Matthew chapter six thirty three. Yeah. Father, this is a very powerful statement, you know, and many of us have not taken it seriously. Yeah. Tell us how we can take it seriously. Father. Yeah. More than those words, what precedes is very very important in the sixth chapter of Saint Matthew. Yeah. Of course, Jesus begins with the prayer, "Our Father." Okay. Correct. The first part of the prayer begins with the praising God, accepting God's rule in our life. God right. is the Father, the yes. praise Him. Yes. Our Father who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come. That is Jesus was saying. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Is the God. prayer Jesus teaches. Exactly. The second part Jesus teaches, give us today our daily bread. So God is the one who provides for us. So that is the basic idea of this uh, passage. passage. So God is the Provider of everything. So right. that is what we have to understand from this. From that, Jesus goes on teaching. He says, "Do not be anxious about your life, what to wear, what to eat, what to drink." Yeah. And he gives the example of the birds of the air, right. the lilies of the field. Even Solomon, with all its wealth, he was not clothed like the flowers. The God clothes the flowers so well. How much more so with true. dignity, so God true. will feed you and. Take care of you. Do not be anxious. Correct. And from that, Jesus says these words: Seek first the kingdom of God uh-huh. and its righteousness. Exactly. And everything will be yours. Yes. Okay. The yes. very words are: uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, God and, and His righteousness, exactly. and all these things will be given to you as exactly. well. Okay. Exactly. First, you seek the kingdom of heaven. Correct. So everything that you seek will be given to you. Exactly. Now, coming to the present situation of life in which we are. Right. As we ourselves who are in Gulf now, what purpose for which we are in this Gulf region? Uh, Gulf region. Correct. It is to earn our Money. livelihood. We want to have a better economic status. We yes. want to have a better house, better car. We want to have a better standard for standard of life for our children. Exactly. They should go to a better school. Cool. Uh, that is what we are seeking. The worldly things. We are too busy with worldly things. Right. So. the people even at the time of jesus of course they may not be looking for a better school or a better car and all yeah. but their concern was more about the food right and in fact the people are looking for jesus because he was performing miracles and feeding the people they were looking for him because he was feeding them correct in that context jesus speaks do not look for the material food the worldly things okay they will not last nah. long exactly so therefore the context is so do not look for the worldly things we'll look for the spiritual things so see the reality so what you have to see god's kingdom correct so set priority in your life what is the priority so god is the priority in your life right. i think this anecdote will explain this whole passage very well 
Okay, there was a king okay. who had gone for a war okay. against the neighboring uh, country. country okay. Okay. Uh, he was the just new king that he came to power right. and the uh, <coughs> neighboring rulers, they rose against him because they thought this is a new prince who has come to power, Correct. so we can defeat him. Yeah. But he had a good team of people. The, his father was a good ruler okay. and all the ministers, soldiers were been well kept, they were well respected in the kingdom. Right. So they joined together with this new prince also, who was also continuing the same spirit of the father. So they had a well built team. Okay. Right. So when the neighbors rose against, they went and fought against them, they won the uh, war. war. So when you win the war, of course you come with the booty, that, uh, from yes. the defeated, the loot, uh, the loot. you come okay. with the uh, yeah. loot, you mm -hmm. come. This king was very happy, the new king, so he wanted to celebrate Correct. the victory, the first victory, the virgin victory yes. against the enemies. Correct. So he arranged a meal for the people of his kingdom. Okay. He called all the people and they were having the meal, the big meal, big celebration was there. Right. And as the people were having the food, he rang the bell. Hmm. The minister rang the bell and announced the people. My dear friends, you know, this is the first victory the king had and that is what he's celebrating today. And there is some surprise for you today. As you finish the food, there will be a bell. As soon as you hear the bell, you just go and touch whatever you see there and that will be yours. Okay? And people are, you know, in a hurry to eat and, you know, they were most concentrating on what shall I go and touch, you know, the gold, the silver, the bronze, the things that were displayed, all those things. Correct. So they finished the food and the bell was rung and people went and touched everything, you know, gold, silver, all those things and they made those things their own. Yes. But there was a young beautiful lady around 16, 17 years of age. Right. And she was just looking at the people, you know, going and trying to grab that thing and this thing and the things they're busy with. Yes. And the minister who saw this young lady, he was surprised why this girl is not going and touching anything and making that thing her, her own. Her own, yes. He went to her and asked, my dear young lady, you should be interested in gold or silver, something or jewelry. Please Correct. go and touch and make that thing yours. Why are you waiting still? But the girl continued waiting for the people to go and make those things their own. Right. Once all finished, this girl went to the king oh. and touched his right hand. Wow, wow. Now the right, touching the right hand means she became his queen. Oh my God. Okay. She inherited the kingdom no. of the king because she became partner with the king now. Exactly. And being the queen, she has the right over the entire kingdom. Now she desires something here. She can just tell the king, I want that thing. Tell them to bring it back. She can get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, whereas those people, those who took, they took only few things and they will never be happy in life. Because they will think, oh, that person took that thing. This, they're worried and anxious about Correct. the things. Now here, this queen has no worries and anxiety. She knows she is the owner of the everything that is there. Yes. Therefore, she can get everything for herself. And this anecdote explains us that if we see God's kingdom, if we hold the hand of God, everything that belongs to God is ours. Oh. So why should we look for this particular, the material things, the little thing here, little thing here, that makes us anxious like those people, those who took silver, oh, I would have touched the gold and made the gold mine because they are desiring to grab everything. Exactly. So that is what happens in our life. When we desire the worldly things, we are never satisfied. We always have the desire for more things because I am having only little thing. I cannot have everything as mine. But if you hold the hand of God, if you seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness, God is the righteous, just and pure, the entire universe belongs to God, not only world, the entire universe. And we are God's children. If you hold his hand as his children, everything that belongs to God, that belongs to us, and that is the openness we need. That is the broad-mindedness if we have. Yes. Then we are the happiest people in the amen, world. Amen. Amen. Very well explained, yeah. Father. Very yeah. well explained. Yeah. You know, Father, the way, you know, yeah. we go 100% to God, He will definitely take care of us, like a good Father will take care of us. His children, yeah. He provides everything for His That's children. Right. Yeah. Let's pray, <coughs> Father, that yeah. all of us yeah. leave these things that are distracting us in this world. Yeah. The wealth, the bank balance, the property, you know, and trying to grab everything possible and trying to hold as much as wealth as possible. Let us first get Jesus into our life and let us all be happy and God will provide. Come.
God our loving Father, we thank and praise you for the gift of your Son Jesus Christ, yes, Lord. about whom St. Paul, writing to the Philippians, says, Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, yes. but emptied himself, yes. but God raised him up Hallelujah. and made him the Lord of all life. Jesus. Lord, Lord God, give us this spirit of your Son to detach ourselves from the worldly things and attach ourselves to the kingdom of heaven, your own kingdom. Yes. Give us the grace to desire you above all else, not desiring the things of this world and getting dissatisfied, frustrated on in life. Instead, desiring you will have everything because everything belongs to you yes. and above all, we belong to you because you have created us in your own image and likeness. Yes. Let us have that realization and always live that dignity of our life as your children. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for being with us today. Yeah. See you all tomorrow yes. again. God bless yes. you all. God bless you.